Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video is going to be a video response for our buddy Daniel, Daniel Wilson, at Cases Loaded. He is doing a contest about the 600 Home Run Club to celebrate his 1,000th subscriber. It's a massive number, and his channel now, as I'm recording this, has 1,300 subscribers. Daniel, that is super, super cool. Um, congratulations on that giant number, and your channel has exploded lately. Super cool, man. Daniel is giving away some pretty crazy prizes if you make a VR for the chance to win a card of some of the members of the people that have hit 600 home runs. And he asked us to pick one player to talk about, showcase, show off, talk about one or several of those players. And I actually have two really cool connections in my brain to none other than Mr. Babe Ruth. And so I'm going to kind of showcase him and what I have for a collection of his I am a teacher, and I do have books, and some books that have just been passed on from old library updates and clean out. So I kind of collect any type of Babe Ruth book I can get because he's just, he's the name you think of when you think of baseball. And so what you see here is The Curse of the Bambino, A Little Heroes of America, Babe Ruth Saves Baseball, and this really cool book that our buddy Jim he gave this to me, and he found it in a in a uh, clean out of an in um, of a house that he bought, and thought I might like it. The copyright is 1947, so in my brain, this is the oldest Babe Ruth item I have. 1947, a book about Babe Ruth. So I put that in the collection, and I wanted to showcase some of the cards. Uh, here, it's talking about his first home run in Yankee Stadium, so kind of cool for Daniel's contest. He's in the 600 home run club, but right here, talking about his first one in Yankee Stadium, kind of cool. Here's a little sticker from one of those sticker booklets, I think 1983. Here's a cutout card from one of the magazines, I think 1991. Just got a cool photo. Speaking of cool photos, here he is in a suit saying, vote for Al Smith. Just not a photo you see Babe Ruth in too often. I think this is one of the first cards I ever had of him. And I remember thinking it was really cool to have a Babe Ruth card. Some of this reprint sets from the early 90s. This actually is kind of a new card that I picked up. Um, you can see here the Sultan of Swat. And if you're familiar with baseball and if you're watching this video, you surely are. But there was a video, I'm sorry, not a video, a movie um called the sandlot and they talked about babe ruth and all of his nicknames and it actually kind of made me wonder if he was really into all those the great bambino the sultan of swat the king of crash the and when he comes out to speak to benny in his dream he's like yeah and a bunch of those other dopey nicknames and so i often wondered if he actually enjoyed those nicknames or not i have a few newer cards of the babe talking about home runs the famous called shot you really can't bring up babe ruth and not bring that up was against the cubbies um i would like to believe he called his shot just for the love of baseball um so that's pretty that's a pretty cool one these are probably my three favorite post playing days cards just with some shine here he is the all-time classic they ranked him third all time got a cool shiny silver look i love this this is probably my favorite card i have of him just has that ghost look you can see the yankee stadium behind him on the black diamond the black and white photo just a really cool card of babe ruth and here he is. This would be my latest tops card of him talking about his birthday. Coming up, actually, February 6th, he will be 129 years old to the great Bambino. Okay, well, he is famous in my mind for having 714 home runs, which takes us to my two playing days. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, I can't even say that out loud. I have two cards from the 70s that are my oldest Babe Ruth cards here on the Sporting News All-Star team. 
and then the all-time RBI leader from 73 tops. So these are my quote-unquote playing days <laughs> Babe Ruth cards. But that's what I have. And I do like that photo there. I just like that photo. I like how the card's all beat up. Here is my first kind of personal connection here. Um, Babe Ruth has had some children, and they had some children. And there's a granddaughter, Linda Ruth Tosetti. And she sends autographs back through the mail. I was lucky enough to send her some cards, and she signed them and sent them back. Really cool black and white photo. Another one of those baseball reprint cards. That was one of the first ones that I had. And then here on the on the called shot. Now the cool thing about Babe Ruth, other than the fact that he had 714 home runs, she also wrote this really cool note back. And I'd like to read it to you because I asked her several questions. You know, what was it like being the granddaughter of Babe Ruth? Was that awesome? Or um, So let me read this to you. Dear Jason, I was born seven years after my grandfather's passing. I am the youngest of Dorothy's six children. That would be her mom, his daughter. This next paragraph blows my mind. In seventh grade, I was told who I was related to by a classmate. I have studied Babe the private man for 50 some odd years. We are close... <clears throat> If I have any questions about Babe, I get the answer. We are connected. This is the next part. My mom was afraid someone would kidnap us, kidnap one of us. My mom never had baseball around us until I found out. I am a blessed granddaughter. He was so generous with his time and money. He was a healer of men. I am writing a book. It's not easy. Thank you, L-R- L-R-T. How cool is that? So as cool as Babe Ruth is, and we think, I say we, I say, I'm, I say me, and these really cool baseball cards and stats that we like to read and memorize, he was just a guy, he was a dad, he was a grandpa, and how about that, his granddaughter found out who he was, who she was related to by a classmate, and in my mind, I think of that being a middle school age child and probably just said something smart alecky. And that's what I think of when I think of the story now. So I think of Babe Ruth as the baseball player, of course. But I also think about now it's a little different. So in my mind, he's famous for 714 home runs. The called shot, the Yankee Stadium. I also think of that 61 home runs. 60, I'm sorry, 60 home runs. And that makes me think of the movie 61. Here's my only card that has both of the players from that 61 in 1961, uh, Roger Maris. And then here's a 60 in 1927 with the babe. And so I have that card, which is a little hologram from somewhere down the line. But I also have been lucky enough to send out to Roger Maris's son, Randy Maris. And he signed this card and a few others. Turn back the clock. This really cool Fleer Greats card. And then this cool Ted Williams card. And then it also signed the Yankee sticker. So when I wrote that note, I asked him, hey, did you think they did a great job on that movie, 61? You know, what'd you think? And speaking of that, I also have added a Billy Crystal autograph to go along with that movie, 61. He was the, uh, the producer. So I thought that was a kind of a cool connection to the babe indirectly and Roger and Roger Maris and Randy Maris and Babe Ruth all tied together and I did write a note and Roger wrote this really cool note Roger Randy his son wrote this really cool note back Jason sorry it took <clears throat> took me a while my wife and I were on a cruise and a vacation for a few weeks we love the movie 61 I like how he put the asterisk on there also I think that's cool and felt it was pretty accurate and think Billy Crystal did a great job. Glad you enjoyed it. All my best, Randy Maris. So in my head, obviously that's not Roger Maris and it's not Babe Ruth, but it's a really cool story told by Babe Ruth's granddaughter, Roger Maris's son. And here these items are, are all setting in my basement in Indiana. And I'm talking about them on a YouTube channel. How cool is that? <laughs> 
So I have a couple cool Babe Ruth things. Um, like many of you, I don't have a playing days card of Babe Ruth. Um, in fact, I don't even have one for Roger Maris yet. I'm still working on that. Um, but for Daniel's contest to talk about a 600 home run club member, I mean, uh, Sammy Sosa was my first thought, but then I thought, man, Babe Ruth is the guy. He's the he's the name in Major League Baseball, and he's the Babe, the Bambino, and like he said, all of those other dopey names. Um, 700 home run club, Babe Ruth. Roger Maris, that's 61, the 60 home runs. Just the connection there just made me kind of go down a little rabbit hole of trying to connect these things. I understand Roger Maris is not in the 600 home run club, but he just kind of tied together. So I thought I'm going to bring those things out and just kind of put them together for Daniel and his contest. So there you go. There's my 600 home run club video for Daniel at Cases Loaded with Daniel Wilson. And if you are not subscribed to his channel, you probably are by now. Like I said, his channel has exploded lately. He is up close to 1,300 subscribers, and he's going to have a really cool giveaway. So check out the link below. Check out Daniel's channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.